Good morning from Animal Kingdom. Good morning. Today we are here because we both have been craving Flame Tree Barbecue. So we want to have lunch there and show you guys around. We also want to see what the wait times are. If you saw our last videos, they've been very low. We already looked on the app and Flight of Passage is at a 30 minute wait. I need to do that. Yeah, come join us. We tried to see the Barbarossa pig like we normally do and they weren't out yet. It's a little bit early for them, I think, still. But there's the tree of life. Oh, wow, it looks like a gorgeous day today. We're walking into Pandora now and we just passed by Nomad, Nomad. our favorite. Normally, it's a sea of people trying to get on there the wait list. There is nobody here right there now. There is not a single this is person. Great. Yeah. I just so, was making churros. Um, yeah, I think we can just get throw that out We there. can get churros for a uh, dessert. Ooh, good idea. So our plan is to get in Flight of Passage now while the wait time is still low and then go eat, right? Yes, Sound definitely. Sound like a plan? We made it in, 45 minute wait. I think that this is one of my favorite queues of all rides at Disney because it's so beautifully themed. This whole park just is so immersive. You started the timer? Started the timer. All right, let's see. The official time is on. We know it's a slow day when this whole section is closed, so we don't even have to go through this part of the queue. We are now entering the Mountain Banshee Project. Moments later, you'll begin your flight. A Navi guide will lead you out. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora. As the Navi say during this important rite of passage, Sivak Hope, rise to the challenge. Good luck. Oh my gosh, what'd you think? That's always so exhilarating. It made me, I feel like such a dork, but it made me emotional. Like I felt I, that a little bit too. I, I was really just really excited to, to do that again. Tearing on it, but such a great ride. I don't know how they, they do it, but you really feel like you're flying. Have you guys been on it? Let us know in the comments. I'm sure if you've been here recently, you have, but oh, it's so fantastic. My favorite part also is when we leave and everybody else is talking about it yeah. quietly to each other and they're all saying the same thing about yeah. how amazing it was and how they felt like they were flying. It's such a cool thing. Yeah, that's, I love that hearing like everyone's, um, how they how made them feel. It's just really special. But, Especially the people who have the first visit badges because you know they've never been on it. Yeah. So then I kind of eavesdrop a little bit. Yeah, it's <laughs> so of, cool to hear what yeah. people think about it because it's it's nothing, nothing that you say can explain no. the feeling that you get when you're on that ride. You just feel like you are flying. You feel like you're flying. Yeah, it's amazing. Who doesn't want to feel like they're flying? Right. All right, we're leaving Pandora now, and I just looked, and it's a 15 minute wait for Flight of Passage now. So that kind of tells you what the crowd levels are like today. There's no one here. We've made it to Flame Tree, and we put in a mobile order, and it says they're preparing our, oh, it's ready. So it's time to go. Timing. They have these two specialty things right now, cupcakes. I shouldn't say things, these are cupcakes. Look at the one with the grape soda on it. That's adorable. All right, we got our food, and I, don't eat a lot of pork but for some reason I really wanted to try this pulled pork sandwich that they have because it's a gluten-free option it's huge and yeah it looks really good and it came with this barbecue sauce so you can put your own barbecue sauce on it and it came with a side of baked beans I'm not a big fan of baked beans but I'll give these a try so look at how beautiful it is where we're sitting I love this um, flame tree this is one of the reasons why I wanted to come just because I like the atmosphere here it's so relaxing and even yeah. though the birds are kind of relentless so you have to be careful and yeah, definitely won't. don't feed the wildlife like no. all the signs say because they will not leave you alone look at this one standing like keeping guard standing yeah. watching waiting so I got the rib and chicken combo. Normally it's baked beans and coleslaw, but I opted for french fries. So you can get both, and both the chicken and the ribs is actually cheaper than just the ribs. Yeah, just, I wanted to get ribs, but this one uh, gives you a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. And then I also got barbecue sauce. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm gonna pour some of this barbecue sauce on, I guess just on top like this. This is a really big sandwich. Yeah, this Look is a size pretty big sandwich. I wonder what bun brand they use for their gluten-free. 
This is really good. Yeah? I thought that it was gonna be dry, but it's really nice and flavorful, and it's not dry at all, even with a little bit of sauce. It's actually, it's very tasty. I just, I think Animal Kingdom is the best part for food. Everything that you get Agreed. here is delicious. And they so have a good. lot of different options, depending on what you're in the mood for. They have a little bit of everything. This is good. We have a friend. He's back. Oh no. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, this looks great on both sides. Look at that. Kind of in a shadow, but yeah, it looks really yeah. good. Hope you guys can see. Well, I'm gonna pull this off. Get my drumstick. Yep. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is that what you wanted? Mm -hmm. so these are the ribs. They actually remind me of the ribs that I got at Regal Eagle. Oh yeah. And the chicken has a nice smokiness to it. And it's, it's so good. With this uh, barbecue sauce, it was like a spicy sweet barbecue sauce. What's your favorite yep. between the two? The wow. one here or the one at the Regal Eagle? It's pretty close. Yeah. Maybe this one edges it out. I like the rub, it's a little bit more savory. It's not maybe as sweet. Hmm. Very similar, I mean, honestly, they could even be the same. I tried the baked beans and I'm not a fan. Are they? You tried them too. They're a little bit sweet, which I don't really like that. I prefer black beans and yeah. um, that kind of style, but they're also, they feel a little bit um, like they're undercooked a little, don't you think? A little bit, yeah. Just a little they're, bit. They're soft, but they're just a little firm. Yeah, but the sandwich was amazing, really delicious. Oh yeah, and I did want to talk to you guys about, um, we haven't really talked about this on our channel yet, but the um, Boob Ash, the after hours event right now at Disney, we decided not to go this year. So we normally go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, but this year we didn't feel like paying for the additional hours. And sorry, I'm like just showing you while you're eating. I'm just shoveling chicken. <laughs> I'm already now. finished with mine, but um, but yeah, I. It's just, it's very expensive, and after everything that we went through last year, it's just financially not something that we're going to do. Um, but I wish that we could show you guys what it's like, but we'll have to wait until next year. Hopefully things will be a little bit more normal. Hopefully the party will be back. Um, but we just figured for the cost and what you get, it just doesn't seem like it's feasible for us. It doesn't make sense financially for us to go to it, even though we wish that we could take you guys there because it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. I always like when they do after hour events like that, but maybe we'll do I have Christmas. chicken on my face, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I just like pulled the camera out and started talking to it when he's still in the middle of eating, sorry. Um, but I, if the Christmas, we still are debating about Christmas. We don't really know. We really want to do Christmas. Yeah. But we'll see. Because we get to go to the parks whenever we want, we're not coming from out of town. We have to weigh our options and see what makes sense for us. And um, right. but yeah, but we do have an upcoming stay at one of the resorts, and it's actually what Matt got as his complimentary night for being a cast member. We're not gonna say where it's at because it's gonna be a surprise. Matt just said it, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that part out. I don't have to say that. You I act like it, be, it never happened. No, I want it to be a surprise. I'm just excited. Yeah, we're really excited. I don't want this, to keep it a this is actually a place where we've wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. We wanted to stay, and it just so happens that we got it. So yeah. it's going to be really fun. We're going in September, I think around the middle of September, so it's close to our anniversary, which will be nice. It'll be a nice way to celebrate our wedding anniversary and stay at a resort that we've always wanted to stay at. All right, we are in Nomad now, and we got our churros on order, so they should be here soon. Sorry, it's very dark. Our cocktails arrived. I got the Boto Rita, which has a grapefruit, right? Or guava? Guava. You said it was gonna be a little bit more tart. Mm. That is delicious. Yeah? I love that. I like the pink peppercorns. I know. Pink peppercorns on top. Can you see it? So good. Yeah, it looks fun. And I don't even know if we have to ask. I mean, is anybody surprised at this point? I'm looking at the menu and I'm seriously considering it and then I'm like, He why even asked if there was something, a special drink or something. And I'm like, why are you even trying? Of course you're going to get the Tempting Tigress. Sometimes they have off-menu stuff. <laughs> If they had that drink that we had during Earth Day. Yeah, the Mother good. Earth. That was really yeah. that was really tasty. And I almost got another one. We'll put it on the screen, but it says gin and sweet vermouth, I think, or dry vermouth. Okay, so we had our churros, but we had them inside and we couldn't talk about it because there was someone we were sitting right next to the bar and there was someone at the end of the bar talking very loudly. So I feel like if we would have filmed, then you probably would have heard his conversation instead of ours. 
um, but the churros were just as good as they have always been. I will say though, the strawberry dip, so you have two dips to choose from. You have strawberry, chili, and vanilla, and the strawberry chili this time was very spicy. Yeah, it had Don't some kick, yeah. I tried it by itself, and I was you like, ooh. You needed the vanilla to mix in with it to make it <laughs> yeah. cut that heat a little bit, but oh, gosh, they're so good. They just melt in your mouth. They're so good. I don't know how they do it. I wish that I knew how to make a gluten-free churro like that, but it was delicious. It's good as always. Sorry that we couldn't show you guys and talk about them inside, but you know, we just kind of have to like play things by ear. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with it. That's yeah. fine. And when we were in there, we were looking at the wait times. I'll put a screen here so you guys can see. The it's insane. There's nobody passage. here right now. So we're going to take advantage of them. Yes, we are. The Navi River journey has a five minute wait, so we're going to get on. Look at this. The queue is completely empty. I'm actually shocked. I've never seen this area without just people. Right. Look at that. There's nobody here. No. Matt, we have the ride to ourselves. I mean, I'm not mad about it, but still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just walked right on, and here we are. Day one now. though because the boat in front of us stopped and then it didn't take it took it was two, like, um, two more boats before then it just two boats after us yeah then it pushed it and it was able to go <laughs> but that was fun flight of passage is a 10 minute wait right now but we're gonna try to go to some more rides before we do that and then we're gonna do that again on the way out does that sound like a plan that sounds awesome okay at trilobites they have this dole whip orange and vanilla that sounds really good I'm too full right now from the churros, but we'll have to remember that. Look what we just saw. The customer did a Mickey ears in leaves right in front of Dinosaur, and this says it's a 10 minute wait. So here we go. This isn't my favorite ride, I will be honest, but I'm gonna do it. It does warn that it's dark places and scary dinosaurs, so take that as your warning. Ah! Go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? It's Dyrachosaurus. Not hard dino. Oleoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking autopilot on homing signal now. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Four wheel drive, move it! shook up I just spilt my water all down my shirt <laughs> I'm a mess <laughs> I don't know why my legs are sore I had I because you pushed to around. brace yeah you, you pushed to brace so yeah so that you don't fly now. everywhere Goodness it jerks me. you around I think more than Everest <laughs> does this mean we're old I think so maybe all right Everest is a five minute wait so here we go they said it's pretty much a walkthrough so not even five minutes
catch my breath after that. That was so fun. <laughs> we almost made reservations for Yak and Yeti today. If you guys have been, let us know how it is because we've never been here before. We only went to the quick service many, many years ago. It smells so good. But it does smell so good right now. We're making the walk back to Pandora to ride Flight of Passage because right now it is a 15 minute wait. Here we are, 15 minute wait. Here we go. We're gonna go into Discovery Trading Company and see what kind of Halloween stuff they have. I like these Haunted Mansion socks. And look at this mug. That looks really cool. Oh my gosh, look at the apron. That's adorable. I don't think we saw that last time when we were at Magic Kingdom. Look at this mug, the Haunted Mansion. Does it have anything on the back? Oh. What is it? It's a decal after, I guess, when it gets warm. Oh. Yeah, heat sensitive. It's oh, heat sensitive Lord. and it turns into this. Can you see? That is so cool. Oh, it's the headless ghost. Yeah, it's the hat box. Ghost. So that's his hat box. I love that. I like this pumpkin mug too, or jack-o'-lantern. And this wreath that has the spider hanging down. Look at this Star Wars shirt. It says, have a galactic Halloween, galactic Halloween. <laughs> and it glows. I like that one. Why is he crawling? Why is he crawling? Wait a minute. Is he trying to get away from the ghost? What is happening? They have a lot of these stitch crashes. This is Sleeping Beauty. I got the Lady and the Tramp one, but not any of the others because I couldn't get them fast enough. And now they have tons of these which means that people probably didn't like this one. I think he's cute, but- Or they got really tired of collecting all of them. I mean, there was a lot, but look how cute. Make it pink, make it blue. And we're ending the day where we started. Right where we start? Yeah, such a fun day today at Animal Kingdom. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We had good food, good drinks, fun rides. Lots of rides. Yeah, low crowds, which is amazing. 10 minute wait. It's the most productive passage. day we've had in like, quite some time. When does that ever happen? That was pretty awesome. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it really helps our channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, we would love to have you here. So please subscribe. And we'll see you really soon. Bye. Bye.